Hello everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode of Live from the Lair. No, I'm just kidding. It's pre-recorded. And uh, today I'm doing a little bit of math homework for the young gentlemen out there who just don't seem to realize how their penis or their diaka is basically upending their life and making them poor. Now, we've all heard the rhetoric out there about dating. And there's some people who fall on the side. If the man asks, he should pay. And then you have a smaller minority out there who say, yeah, no matter who asks, it's 50-50. Now, I'm not doing this on a 50 50 i'm doing this on the man pays for everything and this is exactly what it will cost you you know for like three dates which is the average before you get any kind of sexual activity for the average middle class dude Are you the kind of person who's run out of feelings to hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Then we have the Redonkulous swag for you. And we have multiple locations where you can get it. Go to the Stream Elements store or Crypto Fashion and embrace your inner fat punisher. <laughs> because after all, there's a little bad pop in all of us. Even your mother. Shirts, stickers, mugs, and hats are on sale now. Your support helps keep us independent from big tech and keeps this life-saving train on the tracks. Links are in the meat gazer box. <laughs> Let's get started here. So this is called dis uh, the dick discount. Uh, how your dick thinking is uh, <laughs> impacting your wallet. <laughs> All right. So I want you to Google the following things or search them on the Internet. Average price for a date. It's roughly 103 bucks every time you step out the door. And that's a dinner and a movie type date, which are pretty much the basic ones everyone does because it requires minimal planning. Next, you have the distance traveled. Search distant, average distant traveled to date. It's roughly 20 miles. So that's 20 miles there. 20 miles back, 40 miles, average, you know, economy of a car, roughly 20 miles to the gallon. You're going through two gallons every time you go out on this date. Three dates, that's a total of six gallons. All right, I've already said average number of dates before uh, sexual activity, three. Length of time for the date, and this comes important for opportunity costs. It's anywhere from 30 minutes to five hours. Since I said this is dinner and a movie, I put it at three and a half hours of time used per date. Okay, there's the travel costs. That's 20 minutes, one way, 20 minutes back, you know. Uh, so it's 40, 40 minutes times three, 120 minutes, divide by 60, two hours of your time. All right, I'm adding in the uh, chick time discount for time. Well, I don't know why this is, but almost all the women out there operate on a default of 15 minutes late for everything they do. Everything. So three dates, 15 minutes late apiece. You know, times three is 45 minutes of wasted productivity time. All right, and the middle class wage, I put it roughly... $38 an hour, and that's like an electrician, a pipe fitter. I mean, that's a decent blue-collar wage. You're not going to get super rich off of it, but that's just the way it goes. All right, so you take uh, $103 per date times three. You come up with 309 bucks. Okay. Distance traveled, you know, roughly for all three dates, it's $10 per date and gas. 
with uh, gas being five dollars a gallon, roughly thirty bucks. All right, that's really not a big deal, but numbers add up just like everything else in life. All right, lost productivity cost for the date. Now, any man is on his grind, knows his time is what it's worth, and this uh, example, this person's time is worth thirty-eight dollars an hour. If each date is, uh, you know, three and a half hours times 38 times three, that's $399 of lost productivity time. So we put that in there. Okay. Average travel time. All right. $114. All right. You add this all up for a grand total of $852 for three dates and any kind of sexual activity that ensues. Now, it is not uncommon for men who are out there dick thinking and stalking the punani uh, to do this every single month. So you multiply that by 12, 852 times 12, $10,244, you are burning up chasing your tail. Now, what percentage is that of your income? All right, simple mathematical equation. You take the cost, divide that by your income for the year, which is easily done by $38 an hour, times 40, times 52, you come out at $79,040. So you take 10,244, divide it by 79,000, roughly you get right around 13% of your gross income. So gentlemen, is it really worth it? That's a lot of money to burn through. And that this is bottom of the barrel average. If she wants more or she wants you to order food for her kids, if she's a single mother, it gets way more expensive. All right, so you're forfeiting 13, you know, roughly 13 to 15 percent of your gross income on a woman, probably that's been run through. It's got the thousand cock stare. Uh, statistically speaking, walking around with a size 16 to 18 dress size, a bunch of tattoos, which you know, in the MGTOW book equals temporary. And they might have multicolored hair, which in Mother Nature means uh, don't fuck with me. So, gentlemen, this is the cost of dick thinking. And it only gets worse from here. All right. If you're one of those sorry individuals who suffers from LOP, which is lack of pussy, uh, these numbers can go way up. Uh, I've, I've had to deal with former commanders who were suffering from LAP who were literally running up their credit cards two to $3,000 a month just trying to chase tail. It's not worth it, gentlemen. Keep the equations in the back of your mind and use them to make rational decisions about your life. Because I'm going to be honest, if you're burning through 15, 13 to 15% of your gross income a year, just think what you could do with that money if you invested it or bought assets that appreciated over time instead of depreciate like cars and women and boats. 20 years in the future, that's a huge payday for you. That's a retirement at 50. All right, what would you rather do, retire at 50 and live comfortably or chase tail and always be mediocre broke? It's on you. You guys take it easy. <laughs> <laughs>